Why does it matter so much? It is only for one year, and we'll still have St. Nicholas Day. Grandmother dried her tears with her apron. She looked sternly at Peter. She said, Peter, I am ashamed that you should not know that, is it, that it is important. You will listen carefully, please, to what I shall tell you today. There was no sound but the clicking of grandmother's knitting needles as she spoke softly. <clears throat> what I have to tell you, Peter, is true. It is not a made-up story like the ones about St. Nicholas. Grandmother began telling Peter how the Lord Jesus, Son of God, came to earth as a poor baby. His mother laid him in a manger among the sheep and cattle. Peter knew about the first Christmas, but he listened quietly. He was surprised when his grandmother said, Peter, was Jesus Christ poor before he left heaven? Peter shook his head. Oh, no, he answered. Then why, my Peter, would he want to leave his wonderful home in heaven, where he was with the Father? Why would he, who was so very, very rich, come to this earth to be born a baby, a poor baby? Why, Peter? Can you tell me why? Again, Peter shook his head. No, grandmother, I cannot. It was for you, Peter. Yeah, it was for you, and for me, and for everybody in the whole world. You have learned to recite Bible verses, Peter. Yeah, I learned some, grandmother. This is good. Do you know the verse which begins, For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich? Nay, grandmother, this one I do not know. Well, we learn it now, yeah? You will begin the Bible to me. You will bring the Bible to me, grandmother motioned toward a table on which was a big Bible. Obediently, Peter brought it to her. Turning to 2 Corinthians 8, 9, grandmother pointed, You will read this, Peter. Slowly Peter read, For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Amen. Do you understand, Peter? Nay, grandmother, I understand about Jesus' being rich when he was in heaven before he came to earth, but I am not rich. This I do not understand, grandmother. Grandmother put her knitting in a basket. My Peter, it is time now to know something. We do not talk about being rich. I ask you a question first. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? If so, have you ever asked him to be your Savior? Have you trusted him to forgive your sins? Nay, grandmother, I have not. But this is why he became poor, Peter. He, God the Son, left heaven so he could die for the sins of the world. But you must ask him to forgive your sins. Do you like to ask him right now? Yeah, grandmother, Peter said, I like to ask him. And kneeling there beside grandmother, Peter did confess his sins. He opened his heart and received Jesus as his Savior. As both grandmother and Peter wiped away tears, grandfather lifted the handkerchief up from his face. Quickly, he put it back again. Then he knew, this he knew, was a sacred moment for Peter. With her arms around Peter, grandmother said, And now, Peter, we talk about being rich. You are rich because God is rich, and you are now his child. Someday you will go to be with him in heaven. But even now you are rich because you have everlasting life, Peter. Do you understand, Peter? Do you know what it means that Jesus was born on Christmas Day? Born to be poor so you can be rich? Yeah, grandmother, I understand now. And too, I know that Christmas Day is more important than St. Nicholas Day. As Peter got ready to leave, he said, And grandmother, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to celebrate Christmas on December 25th. Yes, I am. <clears throat> How, Peter? It was grandfather who spoke. Peter turned surprised. Uh, yes, grandfather said. I have been listening in back of my handkerchief. Walking over to Peter, grandfather said, Peter, I am happy that you received the Lord Jesus as your Savior. Yeah, I am very happy. But now I want to know what you do to celebrate Christmas when there will be no Christmas. It's a secret. Peter smiled and went to the shed. There he put on his jacket, cap, and clompins again. For a moment he looked inside the barn. To the cows, he said, you all look nice and warm. It's a good thing your barn is connected to the house because it's really cold outdoors. Do you hear that old cow with the blanket on? Aren't you 
glad Grandfather gives you a blanket to wear? Peter was off toward his home. His heart was singing because the Lord Jesus now lived there, and his head was full of plans for a special Christmas day. After all, was not this the first Christmas he could celebrate? He was now rich. He was a child of God. Oh yes, he would find some way to celebrate. He really would. It was early in the morning of January 4th, according to the new calendar, when Peter climbed out of his soft bed and reached for his Bible. In the darkness, he tiptoed to the kitchen. There beside the fireplace, he dressed quickly, putting on as many clothes as possible. He knew it would be bitter cold outside. He stuffed his Bible inside his shirt. Then at the door, he fastened his skates and glided along the canal to his grandparents' home. There, he slipped inside the barn. The cows and sheep looked at him as if to scold him for disturbing their sleep. <clears throat> Peter picked up the newest baby lamb, which was asleep beside his mother, and whispered, It's Christmas. This is the day Jesus, Jesus was born to be our Savior. We'll have a service. First we sing hymns. Peter thought he was singing softly. But his grandmother heard him. Waking grandfather, she said, Listen, listen. Peter's singing in the barn. Yeah, and now the sheep are saying, ba, ba, <laughs> and the cows are saying, moo, moo, but it is too early for milking. Wrapping themselves in warm blankets, grandmother and grandfather went to the barn. They began to sing Christmas songs with Peter. Soon a neighbor heard as he went to his barn, and then another and another. They all followed the singing and came to grandfather's barn. Soon the mayor and even the minister were peeking in the door. The barn was crowded with people singing together. <clears throat> huh. Peter held up his hand for quiet. Thank you for coming to our Christmas service, he said. Now please, I shall be the minister and tell the Christmas lesson and then we sing again. Peter did not see the minister. The minister and mayor exchanged smiles. Quietly, Peter told of the Lord Jesus leaving the riches of heaven to be born in a stable. He told about Joseph and Mary and how the angels announced Christ's birth to the shepherds. He spoke of the wise men who brought gifts, <clears throat> adding, but Jesus did not need gifts. He was rich when he was in heaven, and he is rich back there now. But did you know he became poor so that we can be rich? The Hollanders looked at each other in surprise. This they had never heard. Peter opened his Bible and with trembling voice read the verse his grandmother had shown him. You know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, how, though he was rich, yet for our sakes he became poor, that we, through his poverty, might be rich. All heads bowed as Peter prayed, thanking God for sending his Son to be the Savior of all who would trust him. And then they sang, oh, how they sang. The mayor's deep bass voice joined in. Together they sounded like one of our big, big choirs singing. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. Peter was happy. He had found a way for the villagers to have Christmas when there was none that year. Yeah.